All right, guys, welcome back to another one. So today we're going to be continuing our playthrough of ASA, Ark Survival Ascended. Um, I went ahead and took care of some stuff off stream, guys. I was getting prepped up this morning. I had a couple extra minutes. Just wanted to get the base organized, kind of got my dinos organized. Um, went ahead and reorganized my, uh, my storages because I had to let time pass in order for that metal to cook up, which it took forever but it ended up working out because i had a lot of stuff i had to do um i ended up taking a bunch of the uh let me see here i ended up taking a like i had so much uh charcoal so i took the charcoal out of here i went on a run with my anki i got myself uh this chemistry bench built up i still have some a bit more uh of this like, I, I ran out of charcoal i didn't have that much charcoal but um i ran out of charcoal so i gotta get some more um, in order to get that cooking. This Rex just hatched. I did uh, read those two. And um, it's actually ready right now. Uh, so now we got a 210 female. Okay. It's got the 10K health, good stam, 284 melee. Right, this is good so I'm going to drag this over to here. Come on, boy. So we're just gonna get this over here into position. I gotta get some uh, some food on it and stuff like that, but. I was trying to do some, some test. Um, I think I got the, so as soon as this is done, we're going to see, or five minutes is up, we're going to see how the imprint works. I did go ahead and set up the imprint multiplier, so, uh, I should be able to just have to imprint once. Once or twice and we should be good. Alright, so we got that in there. Uh, I'm all set up because I got a couple things that we still have to do because I want to build the grinder, guys. But in order to build the grinder, because I got all the metal, all the metal's done. I'll show you guys here. This is my resource chest. I got uh, organized. Uh, see, I got a ton of gunpowder made up, guys. I even got more in the workbench over here. Uh, a lot of hides. Tons of spoiled meat, you guys can see. I, <laughs> I reorganized everything. I was actually quite surprised on how many resources I had. Um, but, yeah, that's all my, my gunpowder. Uh, that one's still empty. I got... This is all my cement paste I have right now. Uh, but this is the metal. So what I'm short on right now is... Uh, where's the grinder? Where's the grinder? Right, right, right. Here, I'm short on polymers, which we're going to go farm up some penguins. Um, I need crystal, which I can get literally across the way really quick, um, and oil. So we're going to head up to the uh, the snow biome. I'm going to get myself some, crisp, or some polymer and oil, and uh, then we'll have our grinder, guys. Blake, holy shit, brother. How you doing today, man? Thank you for coming in, showing that love with a huge super chat. I've been continuing the days, uh, counting the days till the next arc stream. Yeah, 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 we had a we had a lot going on over the past few days, so. But now we're back to business as usual. All right, so yeah, so this Rex is good to go. Now I still gotta farm up two levels, guys, in order to get my hands on the Quetzal saddle that I've been. Um, somebody in the comments said that for the Quetzal saddle, um, I'm actually going to need silica pearls. Been counting the days till another arc stream. Uh, so if that is the case and I do need silica pearls, I'm going to just farm some while we're out and about. So we're going to switch this. We need stuff for cold weather. But again, Blake, thank you so much. I hope everybody's having a great day today. All right. Um, and I think I'm going to put the grinder here, or I was going to build a little platform off the back side of the house here, because the grinders are quite massive. Uh, so I still don't know what, how I want to set it up yet, but it's baby Rex. Uh, how long? A minute before imprint. So I'm, I want to imprint that before I leave. Make sure it's good enough food. Uh, 
Uh, that's what I'm trying to get, Jens, is the platform uh, set, uh, saddle for the Quetzal, but you need, um, you need level 97 uh, for that one. So that, that's why, that's what we're waiting on right now is to get level 97 so I can get that saddle. Well, uh, let me grab, uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't, well, I'll grab arrows just because. Be able to actually pick up my Megatherium today. Just throw that for right now. Yeah, our Megatherium's been chilling up north since we tamed it. Alright, so here we go. So what does this want? Uh, it wants to go on a walk with me. What? Oh, so you can see. Okay, so we got the 100% input. Print. Awesome. So this one's good. I'm going to let this just sit. And uh, let's head up north, guys. Now, I do have two RGs. Um, one is my weight RG. Um, just making this one super... And this is my battle RG. And then these are my breed, uh, breeding RGs. So I'm going to bring a second RG with me. Um, just for extra carry weight. Let me go grab this crystal up real quick. Yeah, I mean, I could farm drops, but that's RNG, you know what I mean? Where, you know, you could have farmed drops for 15, 20 minutes and found um, found two of them. I could sit here and, and farm drops for two hours and not find one, you know what I mean? So um, farming drops doesn't make for interesting content. So that's why I tend to try to avoid doing that kind of stuff. Unless I have to, you know what I mean? I can't see shit. Is the mountain. I hope you can farm hit crystal with a hatch because I didn't bring my pickaxe. I don't even know if there's crystal over here. I know there is up in the volcano. I know there's a lot of metal over here, but I don't know so much about crystal. I cannot see. We're gonna have to go up high. Cloud coverage is gonna mess everything up. I see some right there. Boom. Oh shit! from this. Um, I just got my pickaxe. This is going to be a waste if I sit here and try to farm it up with this. Bot came in thick, guys. Hyenas give a lot of XP for some reason. <laughs> Might have been a fudged number or something. What is the difference between Survival Evolved and Survival Ascended? So, one is like the new Unreal 5. Un Survival Ascended is the new version. It's the Unreal Engine 5 upgrade to Arc. Um, but, I mean, it's the same game ultimately. Uh, they did add, you know, some new quality of life changes, fixes, stat changes, and... Um, but mainly it was a huge overhaul to modernize the game to the new systems, like, you know, or the next gen stuff. Oh, also, guys, I found this, I got this Bronto. I was down there farming up, um, I was farming up some fish meat, and, uh, I seen a dead Bronto, so I went and farmed it up for a prime. I got, I needed a couple pieces of prime meat. And... 
I got it. It was a low level, but it, it, it is what it is. But it was there. There was a baby uh, that died um, down here. It, well, I didn't even have to kill the Bronto. There's a there's a Rex down here. I think it's a, it's a 140, uh, but it's a 140 female. But yeah, there was a there was a Rex down there um, and a Brachiosaurus and I don't know. It was a free Bronto, so I grabbed it. So I just gotta get my pickaxe. It was a free Brontosaurus. One ninety five. One ninety eight. Here we go. the volcano hopefully there's no gigas up there this time i mean there was a giga last time but it, it, it was stuck in the lava so didn't really matter well that's why i got the uh because I, I, I we were trying to get a brontosaurus for uh taming the rhino or whatnot um but i know uh I, I believe it was you guys that told me that i might be tripping but the brontos are a pain in the ass to tame like they just take a lot to to knock out, then they just take forever to tame. So getting the baby was just easy. Uh, NJM, yeah, I see. I I haven't had a ch chance. I get a lot of DMs. I did read your DM though about the uh, the Vietnam server, right? Yeah, well, the thing with my uh, my armor content is before I move on to, like, something else, I, I'm going to finish doing what I'm doing. I'm working on the single-player campaign right now. Um, so before I do, like, any realism or, like, you know, Vietnam-style mission stuff, which sounds phenomenal. Like, don't get me wrong. That shit sounds amazing. Um, but I, I'm not just going to do it, like, randomly, only because, like I said, I, I only because I'm in the middle of doing something right now already. Is that a Karcha? That looks like a Karcha. Yeah, I can't fucking see. Yeah, it is. We're only a level 30, though. Damn. The problem is this damn fog is setting in here pretty damn good. I can't see shit. There, it's dying down. Yo, look at all the crystal on the wall there. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Seriously, you clear it up and I can't see it. I gotta watch my health because I'm super, super hot in here and I don't have a ghillie suit on. So we can only farm for a few minutes and then we're gonna have to leave. camera. Caspi, what's up, brother? That's a new one, Caspi. Yeah, it just came out, dude. Figured we'd check it out. Thought you might like it.
shit. On. Yeah, I'm gonna move my camera uh, as soon as I get back. I'm just trying to do this real quick so before I die. I didn't help that. I had like hot water stuff on. I completely forgot about that. Might not have been enough. My, I don't know if my fo is it possible to have high enough fortitude to kind of just chill in the volcano without having to have a ghillie suit on? Makes you harder to torp too. Oh shit. Uh Kiki, I, I don't plan games out that far. Yeah, um like I kinda just when I finish a game, at that moment is when I, I choose what game I'm playing next. I don't have like a like a an, an, any idea whatsoever of like what I'm playing or how because the thing is there's a lot of games I don't know how long the like game like arc you know what i mean this could be a game i play for a month it could be a game i play for two more weeks you know what i mean um it all just depends on viewership and yeah there's no way for me to just kind of know offhand but yeah when it comes to like choosing games that we're playing i don't uh i i, I make that decision once i'm done with the games Walk this up. I think I needed like 2,000 crystal actually. Uh, but if you go look at my games right now, you'll see we have a lot of games in rotation, like at the moment. Um, and we'll, my goal is to finish those up before obviously starting anything new. So we're gonna pull some stuff out of here. It's full. Pull the hive for right now. How much crystal do we need? Yeah, I need 2,000. So I'm actually going to have to pull some of this too, ain't I? Pull that. the fabricator ain't like the tech rep the tech replicator man i would just store so much stuff in there but yeah that one's not as not as forgiving extra stuff Oh, yeah, yeah, I, um, 
I did up a refrigerator too on the inside here. I got the fridge done up and I organized my, my meats. We're like Arby's now, we got the meats. Oh, where the hell did my black guards go? There it is. Pretty sure that wasn't enough crystal. Fox, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, any chance of me make my own arc server? So I, I did make my own arc server before. Like we, it's well, I didn't make it. Um, we had a, a friend here in the community that uh, actually has their own. Um, I haven't checked on it in a while. They might still have. It. I don't know if they ended up doing one for ASE, um, but or ASA, but. Um, we did do a multiplayer community server that we were all playing on. Um, people were more than welcome to join. Uh, the issue with it, though, is I don't play ARC consistently enough. Uh, you know, I only play it once every couple of days, so I'm not an ARC content creator. Uh, I just, I, I'm, I'm a content creator who just plays ARC, you know what I mean? So that kind of puts me at a, in a weird spot because where most of the people who watch my art content are dedicated arc players you know what i mean so they every day we'll grab this real quick they they play arc so i would have a lot of viewers who were just leagues ahead of me on a community server you know like leagues ahead of me and i was so behind and people would always constantly try to carry me it just it just didn't work out um oh nice guys we got an ascendant spear now 242 the Senate Meg saddle um, but we have tried it in the past it was a good time um, but yeah it just doesn't work out in the sense of like like this cool huge community thing because I just don't play arc enough My spear was 234 and this one's 242, so it is significantly better in the durability, like literally double the durability, which is awesome. It's freaking awesome. As soon as they hit juvenile, they start eating from the club, so yeah, those are gonna take a while to grow. I might even have to bump up my mature speed a little bit for single player. Uh, so you be seen how long have I been streaming? 20 minutes. Right? And my Rex is Yeah, this is full, guys. My Rex is at what percentage? So at about 10% in 20 minutes. Okay, so yeah, let me see. How much are we short? short about 700 more crystals so let's go make that run real quick hopefully the damn volcano clears up a bit uh shansky thank you so much for that i appreciate i appreciate the love Death Star, how you doing today? 
Yeah, I'll take off the yeah the flak vest. Re, uh, that does make you hotter, doesn't it? We'll see. I mean, if I I I only need a few minutes this time, and as long as I can see, <laughs> as long as I can see, we'll be good. Uh, that fog was just making it impossible, man. Oh shit! Seriously. Stuck in the rock, I think. survive a single bite in my current position. So it's the second Giga that spawned up here and it was stuck and, and dying from the lava, which is not a good sign because it's like if I ever wanted to actually come up here and try to get a Giga, are they all going to be stuck in the lava? Another episode of Arizona Sunshine today, guys. The VR Zombie Game we're playing, and I'm not excited to upload it because something happened that was completely and utterly not my fault. But you guys are gonna still judge me like it was. So, yeah, don't know how I feel about that. Can't get to the gig. He's he's gone, gone. Crazy. Forgot this isn't my Wii RG. Uh, we'll drop this. What did I drop? Yeah, my question is, um, does Anki have weight reduction on crystal? Or is it just metal? Sometimes they're on the side. But RG has weight reduction on crystal, right? How much did I end up getting there? A little over a thousand.
Yeah, that's good. We, we got what we needed, but now we got to head up north. We got to get the polymers and the oil. Um, so we got to go beat some penguins and get some oil. We'll bring both RGs for that trip. If not, probably be okay with just the one. And then uh, I'm also going to, on our way swinging back down, I'm going to try to grab some more silic pearls too. I have not watched Avatar 2 yet, Cass, we know. Not yet, dude. I watched the first one the other night, but um, is the second one something you should definitely watch before? Like, does it does it help with the... Because the first one helped big time with understanding, you know, the, the game. Drop this crap. You watched it last night, it was dope. Yo, I loved the first one, man. I was very, very happy with it. Um, I don't know why. I thought the Avatar movie was gonna be like some kid, like Disney movie. But it wasn't that at all. Like, I was really, really wrong. For the grinder. Stack. Okay, so now we got enough crystal for the grinder. No, we don't. What the hell? Didn't I just drop another hundred in there? Oh, I think I might have put it back in there. What's that? Yeah, so we need oil and polymer. Let's do it. Store the rest of this. Can't believe I filled my first fall already. Spino on. What should I have it on if I wanted to attack things that attack things in my base? Would be uh, aggressive be cool? No, because I don't want him to like run off. Wouldn't. Will he attack things that are attack? Neutral would be good, right? Neutral? Okay, cool. It's been a lot of effort, man, to, to get this damn Quetzal saddle. And not like effort as in like I had a, it, it was more like I had to do just a lot of things. 
Because at, at first I didn't go for the rhino because I was like, man, the rhino's going to be ridiculous, you know, to try to get. I have to do this. I got to freaking it. it was a whole lot of stuff I had to do. But now that I'm, like, doing this, I'm like, this feels like a whole lot of stuff, too. But the way I look at it is all the effort I would have put into taming the rhino would have only been good for the rhino. Whereas all the effort I'm putting in to get the quet saddle, you know, is... All, all around progressing my base, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I got the vaults, I now got better storages, I got the freaking, um, I ended up getting myself, I'm working on getting a grinder, you know what I mean? So I feel like everything I'm working on with this path is gonna be, you know, all around a better choice. Yeah, I just I definitely feel like it's gonna it's a the better choice. I do plan on getting the rhino though at some point. Like I, I am gonna get one, but I feel like the Quetzal because you could you could transport more than like for instance with the rhino I could transport one Rex. With a Quetzal, can you guys is it possible to get more than one Rex on on the Quetz? Damn, this cloud is thick. I'm flying straight up right now, guys. We still haven't broke through it. There we go. Holy crap. Yo, I had to fly almost the sky cap, dude, just to get over the fog. Just breed Rexes at the obelisk. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad idea, honestly. Shinchik donated ten dollars. I took my time to figure out how to do this. Even then. Hey, Shinchik, thank you so much. Seriously, I really appreciate you going out of your way to donate that, man. I, that means a lot to me, brother. Again, I hope you're having a great day. Seriously, thank you so much. Nah, so Jack, you see, the thing with the, the day before is like, yeah, we hit over a thousand likes, right? But we hit over a thousand likes for a different reason. Um, not because people wanted, the people were just supporting me, you know what I mean? Like, there's a difference between a thousand likes for the game and a thousand likes, uh, because, you know, people are just supporting me. And the message or whatever I'm trying to push across that video or whatnot. If I took advantage of that, then then we would start. You would start seeing a lot less likes on videos. <laughs> I know how to I know how to read a room. I know how to read a room. Really? That's a hell of a purple drop right there. Yeah, I mean, day one, it was my the biggest stream I've ever had on my channel's history. We hit 5.5K live viewers, which is astronomical. Um, that's literally over double of the highest view count I've ever had on, on a live stream. Um, I broke a record for the most views on one of my videos in 24 hours, which I got over 130,000 views on a video in 24 hours, which is unheard of for me. You know what I mean? Um, and we had like... 
3,000 something likes to it, it was insane you know what I mean but all of that was mainly became from the fact that it was a brand new game people were interested in wanting to see what it was going to be because there was so much controversy surrounding the game um and then yesterday you know i did that stream yesterday to kind of solidify and let people really know what's going on with the game because they did put out an update and i know some people are questioning like hey is the game better i heard they updated it and um i kind of wanted to give people my actual overall thoughts about the game and um you know the state i think the game's in and you know what you guys should do going forward so that's what that was for but yeah Definitely not in a position to just continue playing it, though. We'll just kind of wait and see if the devs actually uh, fix the game. That, that's what I'm. That's what I want to see. Get down here, get this damn oil. Ah, oh, Chuck, that was a long time ago. Yeah, the channel's grown quite a bit, um, you know, over the past shit, even the past just few months. It, it's it's been kind of crazy. Pickaxe, pickaxe is good. Oil rocks used to look different than this. Well, I got a note over there we can go grab. We can go grab that real quick while we're farming and get more XP. Like many of the herd animals on the island, Ankylosaurus crassicutus tends to live in small family units. I believe they can afford to stick with smaller groups because of their incredibly thick skin, for which they're named. Despite not being among the largest of the island's herbivores, Ankylosaurus is one of the more difficult creatures to take down. Its thick, armored skin seems to make it more than a match for several of the mid-sized predators that would otherwise hunt it. Reckless carnivores are just as likely to hurt themselves on Ankylosaurus spikes as they Those are to get hit by its tail. Without a doubt, the best trait of a trained Ankylosaurus is its enormously dense tail. Mm, this tail is, is powerful oh, yeah. enough to quickly shatter the resource-laden rocks of the island. One of the wealthier human tribes on the island utilizes a squad of Ankylosaurs in its mines and quarries. The creature's affinity for metal enables it to carry raw ore at an effectively reduced weight. Trapped an RG in that same spot. Yeah, that was it was weird. They were, I thought they were stuck. I think the one RG was stuck under the RG, other RG, stuck in between the trees. quite well guys I, I, my plan was to get silica pearls I didn't know that they would just be on the snow like this a lot of oil over here
need that crystal. So we're getting a decent bit of oil so far. I don't know how many pearls we're gonna need for the uh, quet saddle, but I think we'll be good no matter what, because we're finding quite a few of them here. Has this always been a location where you could get Silica pearls? There's the ice cave. Real dangerous one. We gotta go out over here, right, to find the penguinus. That's the dinosaur name or the, for uh, penguins. They are, they're known as Penguinus Port Portunus. fall in the water here just in case there's a because you guys you guys know how it is it's like when i my body hits two parts hydrogen one part oxygen um it's it just automatically spawns sharks can it, i don't i don't understand why it happens it's just i guess an agreement that me and sharks have but the second my skin touches it boom shark oil on top of these icebergs too. Uh, 
right, let's see. How much do we got? Six, twelve hundred. A little bit on there. All right, we should have enough oil to get what I need done. Let's go find some penguin. Penguinus Fortunus. Grab another note up here too for the XP boost. I don't know where. I mean, I came over here before and beat, beat up some penguins, but you'd think they'd be back by now. Yo, how is there none? What is this? I left some, right? I left a few. Thing is, is I could always craft polymers, but penguins is, are way easier. I checked that big island to the north, right? All the way up in uh, the corner. Penguins on the cliffs? I've never seen them up here, and if I feel like the penguins were up here, they'd get eight quick as hell. By wolves and shit.
Yeah, if those penguins up here, they would be gone. So that was the first island. I'm going to go check this one all the way to the north, but I'm pretty sure I searched that one and there was nothing there. bad luck I'll uh, farm up some obsidian on my way back and I'll just do uh, I'll make my own palmers if I have to None here. Yeah, we came up here and, and, and got penguins one time. There was a ton of them. And uh, definitely done a dino wipe since then, too. When we added the levels mod. So there should be a fresh, fresh batch of penguins up there. See, there's legitimately nothing. It's weird. I'm gonna have to farm up some uh, some obsidian on our way back. I got a I got a lot of cement paste, so it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, we could. And we got fabricator, you know what I mean? So we can we can just craft up our own. It is what it is. I'm not gonna stress it too bad. Plus I got the second Arju with me. What if they nerf Um Pickaxe or I think pickaxe might get more. Yeah.
got a lot of armor, so I wasn't like super, super weird. Grab obsidian on the way back, so we'll be we'll be golden. Got that that two RG meta right now. Volcano definitely has a lot of obsidian. This place isn't bad, though. I don't know how much obsidian I'm going to need to get, like... 250 uh, Palmers Penguins, uh, did they nerf the penguins or something? Or do I just have some real bad RNG? Yeah, we're, we're well, right now we need obsidian um, to build to get polymers, and then we're getting the polymers to build the grinder. What the fuck? You almost died, dude. Decide freaking going there and fighting. How does that shoot up by a pack of wolves and data? Oh yeah, I got plenty of RGs now. I have a breed. Uh, this is uh, actually my bad. That was my test breed RG. 
Um, it's not even imprinted. I think it ended up with like 3% imprint or something like that. Um, no, maybe a little more than that. Maybe, maybe like 10% imprinted. But uh, it was like my test RG. almost didn't make it man i wouldn't i would have been super upset though because uh, all of my uh <clears throat> all of my stuff was on him all the obsidian i got a little bit on this rg too but penguins should not be rare i don't know that's what i'm saying it's, it seems weird i don't maybe they maybe they they changed it because of uh how op organic polymer is because Palmer is like an end game resource, you know what I mean? And the uh, organic poly kind of breaks that having to craft. You just go out and kill a bunch of penguins and boom, you're done. I've dino wiped, yeah, since the update. What update? I mean, I haven't dubbed Dino Wipe since. I, I Dino Wipe when I did my, uh, what should I call it? Uh, when I added that level mod, but no, it's, I haven't. I haven't Dino Wiped in over a week. Uh, the silver heart in the upper right corner. What is that? I think that silver heart means that we're mate boosted right now. Because I think uh, one is a male, one's a female. Could pop a dino wipe. I already tamed my quets. Yeah, we could we could do a dino wipe. Am I gonna activate the turkey trial that I don't even know what that is, Death Star? Dino wipe well is a allow murder turkeys? I don't want what do you mean murder turkeys? Thanksgiving event. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't want to turn that on. It doesn't sound like something I need right now.
We make obsidian. Oh, yeah, I think we make it right here, right? Yep. We can make polymers with the obsidian in that. Keep space because this is almost full. So that's not bad, so it's two. Um I thought it was going to be more expensive than that, honestly. Two pieces of obsidian uh, for every one polymer. I don't, I don't know if I got the 200 or whatever silica pearls yet, but we did end up with a... Yo, no, I got them. Yeah, we got them. We got 300 right here. Uh, we're good. I'll have all I need for the polymers. It's gonna be nice. I got a lot of stuff to grind. Okay, so while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna go out and probably Grab some drops real quick. So that's gonna take a bit. Drop is gone, damn it. Oh. 
Uh, I know I, I have I have all the oil I need. No, yeah, we got all the oil we need for the grinder. Uh, we're just waiting on that polymers to cook up, and then uh, we're good to go. And we are good to go. Smoky, because I, 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 the reason why they're where I, I tamed them, uh, I got the meg up there. Now, in order to get that megatherium back to base, I'd have to walk it. Obviously, there's no um, crowd pots in the game, so I'd have to walk it all the way back, which would be painful in itself. Um, and the Quetzal, I don't have a saddle for it yet. So my goal was to, well, if I get a Quetzal saddle done up, I can just go ahead and fly over to the fly over to the megatherium and pick them up you know what i mean and be able to do that going forward with all my big teams that i get now i won't have to walk them all the way back just walk out fly out in the quetzal and tame, or grab them Love it. we've been getting some really good dive tanks man So that's why we're about to go get our Quetzal right now, baby. It's about to be Quetzal time. Yeah, I already refunded Kong. That was the one game I actually qualified for a refund. Um, Walking Dead, though, I, I played it too long. So uh, no refund in that. And then the day before, I didn't pay for it to begin with, so... Nah, it was all good, Caspi. It was all good. I think we got... I think we got, like... I'd have to check. I think we got even enough super chats during that stream to uh, to cover the cost of the game. So it, it's all good. We we, we, did, we broke even. should be done. You guys think this Rex is, oh man, 14,000 health? That's with the imprint, guys. It went from 10K to 14,000 health with the imprint. And then it went up to almost 400% melee from the imprint. That is a yeah, that is a big difference, guys. This thing's a monster. 
It is a monster. So it's done. All right, let's cut this off real quick. Grinder. All we need to do now is drop the oil in here, and we are good to go. But I'm going to need 600 oil. Need more than the slots. One, two, three, four, five, six. There it is. And craft. So we chew up, yeah, chewed up 90% of the resources. You can believe that all, like, almost all the resources I had in there. All right, Senor Grinder, let me see how big you are. Oh, maybe it's not that big. Oh, it's not that bad. Okay. For some reason, I remember it being way bigger than this. man something I could just kind of load up and walk around with Thyla's decent right what kind of weight is this thing at? maybe we just use our RG whatever I'll just make multiple trips alright so let's start off with this crap right? um, like this lamp post we'll scrap it Scrap it, scrap it, scrap it, scrap it, scrap it. I'll hold on to the spikes. Wait, didn't you already restart it, Casper? Or did you restart it again after we started? Uh, Doom Eternal? Yeah, Reza, Doom Eternal's on the list of games to be played. Doom Eternal is for sure on the list. Three sap taps because I'm gonna need sap at some point. Okay, so we've cleaned out that locker pretty good. Now, any saddle that's meh, I'm gonna get rid of. Like that low level there. All these low level bows. I don't need two of those, right? Yeah, my, I, I, guys, if it's a game I've never played before, it will always be on the list. I would never just pull a game off that I've never played, unless it was like a sequel to something that just did very, very bad. Um, there's never not gonna be a game I'm just not gonna try for the most part. Tim B with a seven, thank you so much. So what is an Ari uh, Ari Neo? Ari Neo? All this.
I'll hold on to both of those. Ghost Runner 2? Nah, Cassidy, because that's the sequel to the to the first one that didn't do that well. Oh, the spider got you, got you. I've never tamed one of those. Yeah, I see so much of this gear here is just junk. Probably actually have this going while we're waiting, right? So fast, fishing. Man, the fur is so heavy. Crazy thing is I cranked my weight up so high on this character and yet we still can't carry shit. Yeah, we just got so many resources and now we could literally anytime we farm drops and shit, just drop all the crap stuff in there and we've got an easy metal, some meth based. I've been thinking about making a back door. I don't know where I want. I was actually going to make a little side door over here, but everywhere that I would want the back door to be, there's something there. I thought about moving my, um, my smithy bench here. gonna move the smithy bench and kind of open this wall up here this down as a doorway there we go much better right feels more functional I think it looks nice
Ah, uh, you know what? We'll hold on. duplicate saddles we're just going to get rid of. It's a really nice Sarko saddle right there too. Whoops. Now I would I would definitely I would definitely want a pat on the back for this door, guys. What do you mean? Yeah, of course I want a fucking pat on the back. This is base design at its finest, guys. What do you mean? I want the pat, I want the cookie, I want all of it. Like, this is a big deal for me. This is a big deal. kind of question is that, man? Found your channel when I was going through a really dark place and watching you play ASC for the first time really lifted me up. Looking forward watching you take on Scorched Earth the right way that map is brutal. Semper Fi Brother. Holy shit, dude. Uh, first of all, Semperfy Tracy. Um, and thank you for your service, brother. It means the world to me, man. Um, but holy shit, dude. That is absolutely crazy. I definitely do not deserve that, man. That is... My art content is subpar, man. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Tracy, thank you. So Tracy, I I don't even know what to say, dude. I don't even know what to say. This has dropped the five hundred dot five hundred dollars super chat.
Absolute legend, dude. Seriously. Um, but again, Tracy, you know, the fact that I could be here for you, you know, and help you cause brother, you, I mean, I, I've, I've been there, you know what I mean? I, I've been in some pretty dark places, my damn self, you know, especially after my time in Afghanistan and stuff like that. I, uh, and I know, I know how important it is to find something, you know, that kind of like grounds you and, and, and helps get you through that. And, uh, you know, I had other people and other things that, that were there for me and, 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 I'm like endlessly in debt to those people. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, the fact that you say I am that for you, it's a, it's a fucking honor, man. Like seriously, it's a, it's a, it's a fucking honor. Um, and I do continue. I, 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 you know, I hope to continue to be here for not only you, but other people also, you know, that's probably one of the biggest, most rewarding things um, in my position is to be able to like help people when they're having bad days, you know, you fucking wake up just worst day of your fucking life and people turn on the stream and they can just sit back and chill and it helps them get through their day. That's, that's the most rewarding feeling. So seriously, thank you so much for that, man. I, I, holy shit. Fucking ears are sweating. Dude, I take my hoodie off. But again, thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, it's breaking stuff down, right? Yeah. Guys, I I appreciate that seriously. You know, it's it's one of those. It's kind of one of those uh, things that kind of caught me off guard when it came to streaming. Like, I never like when I started doing this. I never. It's it just one of those things that never crossed my mind, or I never even thought about it. But like the effect that you know my streams could have on people. It just I never thought that I'd be that kind of person, or like there's no way like someone like me could even impact someone like that you know what i mean so i never really thought of it very much nor thought it was even possible um and then you know when people started coming and being like hey dude you know your streams really helped me get through and i'm like what like, me? <laughs> and, 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 and it does it just it, it's 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 crazy you know and it's it's surreal That's crazy generous. That's crazy generous. Uh, was that my first? No, I've gotten a $500 super chat. 
for you. It's fucking absolutely insane that people, people consider doing something like that for me, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's crazy. There you go. Let's grind this up, baby. Alright. There we go, guys. So, another 500 metal. We're just pulling metal out of this. Nothing. To store, you can store organic poly in the fridge, right? You know, it'll keep it fresher long. No, you can't. I think you can store it in a preservation bin, though. If I'm not mistaken, it's all good. Yeah, I ended up with another... Let's put this. A couple stacks of... Uh, charcoal here. Drop that in the chemistry bench. Get even more gunpowder. I was prepping up all this gunpowder, guys, in, in you know preparation for like running a really really good shotgun obviously haven't got to that point yet uh haven't found a really good shotgun Says I just grinded all that stuff, guys. I didn't get any XP really. What am I looking? I mean, I'm almost. Make flint or thatch to get. Oh, you need to make flint or what this? Gives you the XP. Okay. Um, the flint would probably be the most useful, so I'm gonna go grab some stone then, real quick. Because the flint I could use to make more gunpowder and spark powder. the organic poly turn organic poly into soap to save it and then grind it up when you want that yo that's actually pretty genius dude uh this is my weight rg I download. I did get a mod, guys. That's supposed to be the, the Dino Farming mod or whatever. For them, to, I, I don't know how that. Oh, let me look how that works. It was like an item you have to craft or something. Yeah, this solo farm. So how do I get the remote? I need one thatch. I don't. I don't understand this.
So I know I know somebody said that you can use it to uh, continuously farm until you run out of weight. Uh, craft it with one stone and then put it in the dino inventory and activate. Okay, I'll try it. Stone right here we could use. Never stops. You gotta watch as your RG's weight now. It's farming so the RG gets close but not being able to carry much more. So you just put it in its inventory and just turn it on and off. It's, it's not that bad. Try to get it a little closer to the grinder. Yeah, it, that that was that was crazy, guys. That was absolutely crazy amount of farm right there.
This gives that speed. So one thing I want to go scout for real quick. Boom. There's our level. I was waiting on one more. And as you can see, we're, we're gaining XP right now. Um, we're going to go out and scout. Ooh, there's an alpha right there. Guys, you think I can kill a level 150 Alpha Carno? With this Rex and maybe my Spino. But what if I do, what if I go out on my Thyla and I bring the Rex and the Spino with me, triple team it? Attack my target. Shit out of me. Hopefully, the Spino is the only one that's killed. I won't mind that. Uh... the right command. So attack my target isn't what I want. Um, attack this target is the one I want. Yep, this one. Stuck in a rock! 
fuck are y'all doing? Stop fucking fishing, bro! Got it, baby. So my thyla took a fair bit of damage there. Yeah, look at that, guys. The wreck's fucking too easy. Too easy. Yeah, so the Thyla, the, the Rex and the Spino worked out great. It, it literally worked out great. It was the, the Thyla that just couldn't even hang. That thing was doing some monstrous damage. Almost 200 damage per hit. And every time I got close to it, it would focus me over the Spino and the Rex. So probably would have been better off just going down on the Rex myself. Spino is just a uh, kind of like a little stand-in from the from the early game. I can't wait to get this other Rex tame, man. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Uh, raised. Yeah, I think I need to. I think I need to change my um, my rates in which the dinos grow. Cause that's only at fifty percent, guys. That's so low. Would you guys, if you're playing single player setting or without single player setting on single player, what would you guys generally put the mature rate at? Um, Cause that. That's absolutely insane. It's been two hours, and so it's about four hours to fully mature. Yeah, we'll, we'll never get the bosses done on this fucking map, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Not with those weights. die or at least your child doesn't have to watch it 
you know, I'll spare you. Yeah, um, they were so hungry, guys, because uh, all my other meat eaters were eating the fucking meat. No, I'm going to change the rates right as soon as I empty out my uh, inventory here. I'm going to get it squared away. But yeah, that shit's way, way, way too long. What happened to all my berries? Oh, the Bronto. I'm like, dude, what? Thank you so much. I appreciate the love. I hope you're having a good day. All right, so let's uh, let's go change those rates real quick, so we don't have to spend a bazillion years. Um, I thought I already raised the the rates for the maturing speed. Baby mature speed. Yeah, we put it on twenty four, chat. So how is this still? How is this still four hours? It wouldn't be that big of a deal if like a single player server kept going when you log off, but like, I can't even, like, go to bed and then, like, overnight, like, my dinos grow up. Like, that, that shit doesn't work that like that. So let's just, let's, let's, let's double it. But, that, that, but then again, doubling it's only going to make it two hours. I want to make it, like, one hour. Let's see where, where we're starting with this. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what that does. Put on 50. Uh, so my imprints are fine because I raised the imprint amount. So I only got to walk up to it and whoop, imprint it a single time. So I, I squared that away because, yeah, the balance in between imprints and mature, that, that shit is science. I've actually seen forums on people talking about it and how frustrating it is to get that timing right. Man, I really wish this Rex would raise I, I want. I would like to go out and level with that one. Um, but for right now, we're going to go out and heal my Thyla up. And I'll probably even farm up some meat here because this baby Rex is probably tearing through my, my meat supply too. I remember I was uh, raising like five or six, uh, no, it was when I was doing my megs on Aberration. And I was off stream and I wasn't paying attention, guys. I, I didn't really think about how much babies eat. And I was doing like 15 freaking, um, 
I think it was like 15 megs or something like that, babies. And I literally looked away for like 10 minutes. I came back and every scrap of meat, I, and I had thousands and thousands and thousands of raw meat just gone. Gone. That's one of the hard things is finding um, finding that happy medium for for rates, you know, to where because like for instance, if it took me four, I say it took four hours, right? To uh, do a Rex. That's four hours times like 15, 20 Rexes, you know, unless I did them all at the exact same time, which obviously at the moment I, I you have to obviously stagger them because you got you got to breed them and mate and all that shit. So. Uh, it's a lot of time just for breeding. And then imagine if I ran into like the same issue I had on Aberration where I went and do a boss fight and then my dinos get wiped. Heal the dial up real quick. Yeah, Jay, it's a it's a lot of meat. But yeah, it's like the hard thing, you know, trying to find that happy medium between you don't want it to be instantaneous because then you know like that has its own set of problems. But then I also can't afford for, you know, me to have to invest 40 hours just into, like, raising some Rexes, you know what I mean? Like, that that's an absurd amount of time, you know what I mean? Especially for, like, a YouTube series. Um, and, yeah, it's, like, trying to find that, that, that middle ground between, you know, what feels still decent. Um, and... But, I mean, it's single player, so I guess it doesn't really matter even if it was instant, but I don't, I don't want shit to be that fast. Uh, Jesse, so what I did was is it's actually a mod called Dino Le Dino Level Mod or something like that. I forgot the exact name of it. Um, in the mod store, uh, you can go get it, and that fixed all my problems. You download it, you don't have to tweak anything. You can just use the default settings, and um, you still like you get high level dinos. You're gonna see a lot of 100s, 110s, 120s, um, stuff like that. You'll find a lot more of those. The 150s still seem semi elusive, which is good. Uh, Cause that was I just didn't want 150 dinos to be everywhere, um, but it also it makes the game a little bit more of a challenge too. Right? Cause at first I was like, oh, this is gonna be OP, but now the, the the thing is, is you just find a lot of dinos everywhere that are just crazy, crazy high level, and you have to fight them. So it's a bit of a uh, bit of a pain in the butt. <laughs> I was gonna grab that egg, but I, I don't know what it belongs to. Yeah, see, like, that's a 110. That's not something I want to fuck with. Trying to stomp on me? Oh yeah, 
on this one, if you stay behind it, they can't hit you. You can play with mods on uh, ASA. What was that, Rex? BD. Got an alpha. Yep, that's an alpha raptor. Kill these days though. I want I want a higher level one anyways. This one. Oh, there it is. Run! I had a bunch of ammo earlier. I freaking stored it. How are we looking, guys? Almost there. All right. We're almost there. A couple more kills and we'll be good to go. Get uh, a little bit more stone grinding. This is it. This is our moment. It's not all that great, but it's good for pulling. It's way more accurate and efficient than uh, the crossbow. We're 
all that up into uh later on. Uh, spark powder. Okay. There's ten times. cooking up there. That extra group coming in while we go try to hunt down something else to kill. Handguns are underrated in your opinion. See, I, I feel like the handguns... Uh, right now I'm just using a base level one, so I've never even tried. Like, Maybe if you have like an ascendant handgun or something like that, that shit would probably be crazy. It's an alpha. It's a 40 alpha. Ooh, and a mag Ethereum. 25 trash tier. Uh, is that another Alpha Colonel? Yep, it's only 15. We can take that one. Level baby. That's level 97. And I got a new uh journeyman simple pistol. Uh it's a 159. Got a crossbow. My fortitude is pretty high, actually. My forty—I got my fortitude up to fifty-six, so I was having a lot of issues with like, random weather events or whatnot. So I went ahead and raised up my uh, my fortitude, and it's helped out a, quite a bit. I haven't had as many issues, but. Saddle. There it is. Finally. Okay, so we need one hundred twenty cement paste, six hundred twenty high. That's pretty crazy. Grab on my cement paste real quick. So should be enough. Twenty on the 
Silver Pearls, 180 on Metal. Wetzel platform saddle crafting up. Been waiting for this moment for like two streams now, guys. Yeah, I wasn't wearing pants because we were overheating earlier. Was overheating. And I don't have any pants to wear right now. Except these. These might be okay. Brother, thank you so much for the super tip. Uh, me and Chris on 14 years. Now, uh, the importance of what my pay. I, hey, listen, listen. I had to air it all out. You know what I mean? I was, I was airing it out. Got a little, uh, got a little stuffy. Let's go get our. I'll take you out of PT. Tracy, I can. I could definitely name the Quetz Quetzal LB. Now, listen. Congratulations to you and Crystal on 14 years. Now the important stuff. Sir, where are your pants? Listen, listen, listen. I got... I just want you to know that I have this curse of when I name something after something I care about or someone I care about, it tends to get dead. So, and then I feel bad <laughs> when, when, when you guys ask me to name and then it gets killed. So, just, just a forewarning. Uh, Tiny Cucumber, thank, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate the love. See, I didn't name Wendy after anybody, though. I just named her Wendy. You know what I mean? Like, like that was just a random name I chose. <laughs> yeah, just had to air it out, dude. This is the first time I've ever in my arc career, guys, um, had a Quetzal. Ever. Never, never, ever had one before. Oh, I forgot I built this whole...
this all picked up. question is are the quetzals quite slow because even flying it right there felt felt slow and i mean i'm oh how the hell did this get damaged i don't have the resources to fix that <laughs> Yo, I love how they stand though. That's pretty dope. You know what their frame kind of reminds me of? The mana. I wonder if they use the same skeletal frame. You see how the shape? It reminds me of the mana. I don't know why. Okay, so. Uh, oof. Well, this is where the stats landed for this thing, chap. Um, thousand weight. Stamina's at 1100. And 4k health. No, it was only a level 40 when I got it. So it's only level 59. Uh, it, it's definitely not that great. But it's better than no Quetzal, right? keep our freaking eyes open for another Quetzal though like try to see if we can get a better one now that we know how to tame them but like I said this one will do for now yeah I would I don't think I'd waste a note on this it's just it's such a low level like I'd rather try to get like a level of 100 plus and use notes on that one you know what I mean this one is just it was I just wanted something so we could go and, and, and start grabbing dinos and shit like that. Alright, I'm gonna park myself right down here get some stamina back this quetzal's garbage those titans now those dinos good for anything chelly i know I, I know that you pretty much said they're pvp dinos right but is there any use for them in pve like can you do anything with them other than just like a novelty cool looking team. I'm gonna rename them now. Let me see. How the hell do you. Tracy, you wanted it to be named LB, right? make the platform bigger this is just a base platform and then um you you add to it if it's anything like the the other platform saddles what was that meg 55 
Alright, yeah, I got you, Tracy. I got you. Alright, we need to eat. Yeah, these damn things are pretty slow. Is it worth jumping? Maybe dropping a couple points into uh, movement speed? It's at 106%. Getting like an imprinted Quetzal though would probably be super clutch, right? Get that imprint stat bonus. Oh man, this would be a monster. Yeah, we gotta try to find a, you know, at some point find a higher level one, but this one will work for now. This one will work for now. The issue is the stamina. I've had, a, I've had, a, I'm gonna have to land what three, four times just to get back to my base from here. I'm gonna land a pie over here. Just. about maybe showing a little bit love to the stamina too oh fly the PT have the quest follow they uh, had infinite stamina at that point right Yeah, that's what we got to get. We got to try to figure out. Um, so what is the, does anybody know what setting you have to have good in order to make sure your stuff doesn't fall off the saddle? <laughs> the platform saddles? Speed stats not changeable on, uh, as, there, there was a setting for it, I thought, Russian. I'm pretty sure I toggled uh, the setting uh, allow at least in single player, I think it's possible. Now we gotta dress up this damn saddle. What? I told you to not follow me. Oh. No, I didn't. So let's bring this over here. Land an animal on 
and if it falls off, it's not. Okay, so I, I could try that right now. Try to land on it. Seems like it's good. Is that good? It's like going to the edge and shit, but. My question is, how the hell do I get shit on top of that? Do I gotta build a ramp or something up to it? Cause it's pretty high up, dude. We gotta, we gotta get it. We gotta get it built up right now. So we'll do that. Drop this shit up there. Oh, the Brontosaurus is done, baby. It's fucking massive, dude. Bronto's done. Rex should almost be done too. Yeah, eighty-two percent. So I got to build up some uh, foundations. I got four foundations here. So let me guess it's going to be... So how should I do it? Should I stretch them out as far as I can like this? No. What? Or should I just center it like this? You son of a bitch. Or should I like dead center it? Like one dead in the middle.
again. Let's try this again. Okay, so I put one like that, right? But you can't... You can't snap to the side of it. What's the reason for that? Oh, okay, that one I can. I just need a better placement. So that, that one worked. That worked. And then we're gonna have to use the, the ceilings to go out any further than that, right? Oh, we got some here. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to do... I'm going to see if I can get two more foundations down on the back. And then we'll do the rest of these ceilings. Try to get three foundations... I was able to get two. Um, the third ones won't snap, though. But I do want to see if I can get the, uh, the other two on the end. Here. No, see, then it doesn't... I guess I could just cheese it like that. Doesn't look aerodynamic. What do you mean? Stone is the new meta. You didn't hear? Boeing's tried to. Yeah, I sold this idea to them. Stone airplanes. Okay. 
Okay, so we got those. Let me get that here. Now the question is, how big do I want to go with this? Using like the ceilings here, at least they'll be even. move this one here like can I not have that hair for flying purposes so it won't let me fly it anymore okay, so I can't put one there already way bigger than that. I don't know why. I thought it was just going to be like this small little square or something. That, you, know, you can go really, really wide with this. Uh, you'll pop up past the head. Oh, so I... So it doesn't matter as long as I, if I, because I can mount it from the ground. Okay, I'm tracking. Yeah, so the ramps I could just carry with me. Put them on the ground, walk the Quetzal to roughly wherever I need it, and then I can just walk them. The ramp doesn't need to connect to the the, the, the build itself. Because that, that generally like when I do the boats and stuff, I'll, I you know I connect the ramp to it, but you can just lay a ramp anyway, so you don't ramps don't require foundations. Right? So I can't mount it from the top here, but if I'm on the ground, yeah, I can still ride it. Just whoop. Oh, we're cool. Steps us up. Sky base, I know, like. So you're telling me, like, is there really players that, like, 
build these for real? In like PvP, like your base is just flying. Is it viable in PvP? I'd be too scared for it for it to be like that in PvP. Tanks can be made from a quest full out with turrets. Damn. Just a flying ball of hate. Right, we need more, uh, more stone. straight castles on top of that's that that is pretty insane dude Big as I can. Dismount while flying, it could be an issue. Do the hatch. So we got that. We're good. Sixteen more. Should be. Because when I dismount, I literally just stand straight up. I can go. This thing's pretty massive. I haven't tried the posse yet, man. It's not as it's not the same as you usually do. It seems it's more fresh. Not as like cheesy. Don't you usually do like a broccoli cheese pasta? This one seems more like noodles, butter, and broccoli.
All right, so we're gonna have to do some walls up. Um, I mean, do you? Yeah, you. I would need walls, right? Or shit doesn't slide off, right? All right. Well, first things first. Let's go grab our Mega Ethereum. Yeah, we could use railings. Actually, that would probably be cleaner looking too. Let's see, stone. Did I never learn railings? Mosa, thank you, thank you for the super chat, brother. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. The let's talk about it. Yeah, it was um, it was something I wanted to try out, but I I I mainly titled it like that so people understood that. It wasn't a, like like pure like gameplay. It wasn't a series ongoing thing. It was like it was like, hey, let's just let's talk about what's going on. Dinos will stay on if set the passive. Okay, cool. Loved. Let's talk about stream. Maybe more of those. Like, let's talk about why Starfield flopped. Or let's talk about GTA Siri, and will you be going 100% completion also? So what do you mean 100% most uh, completion on what? Because uh, I, I don't generally 100% any games ever because it's just unrealistic for... Um, uh, for being, you know, as a, as a, as a content creator. It's, I could sit here and say, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, wanna, why is that going on to the bottom here? Okay. Like, I could have all the intentions to want to 100% something, but just because that's what I, my intentions are, doesn't mean that's how it's actually gonna work out, you know what I mean? Um, because there's a lot that goes into a series, and, but I've never 100% in anything on this channel just because it's too grindy. short right, I'm pretty much out of wood and I gotta I gotta get ramp two ramps done up How my How did you get on follow, dude? But most again, thank you so much for the love. I appreciate it, man. Seriously. Yeah, we gotta go grab some wood really quick. Oops. 
Say that damage, guys. You'd think I was playing with some boosted stats. Nope. That's just what happens when you stack 40 points in the melee. And have a guide to your weapon. So long for that metal to cook up that all the trees and shit started to grow back. A lot of horror games out there you know the quite a few that you know I've, I've i've i got on the list and you know i've taught i've thought about checking out at some point or another um one of the weird things about horror games is it's, it's a highly requested like like i see you guys in chat all the all the time asking play a horror game play a horror game play a horror game right and it seems like those would be the most like popular streams on my channel because of how much it seems people are requesting them but then every single time i actually go ahead and pull the trigger and play one like nobody shows up so it, it's just it's one of those weird things it's like man it's so requested but then when i play it then they'll like it's Yeah, they, they, they do so bad. Because I've, I've tried them plenty of times in the past. I love horror games, you know what I mean? Like, King of Horror right here, chat. Maybe, maybe that's why, though. Maybe that's why the horror games do so bad is because I'm just, I'm just so good at them. That is boring to watch. I, and I get that. I, I, I understand. I, I forget. I understand. It's about what I thought. It's what I thought, chap. Let me see. What the hell are the railings at? Uh, I'll do six more. Christopher, are you on Xbox or are you on um, on PC? Because if your dinos are following you, uh, the easiest way to get them to stop following you is to uh, you just get, there's a button you can push this. But it depends on, I don't know what the command is on, on console, but on PC you push U. And every dino that's following you will stop following you. Damn, 
should have put the other guy. I think we might need more than six. Nope, actually I didn't even need six. Here we go, so we got this closed off. Now I just gotta craft a couple of ramps. Yeah, so if you're on if you're on PC, get off of whatever you're riding on and look at them and push you. And everything will stop following you. Christopher, yeah. So like for instance, like this dino is following me right now. And then if I hit you, he'll stop. GTA 6 main story? Oh yeah, we're gonna be playing the shit out of GTA 6 when it drops. 100%. I still don't know about 100% the game, you know what I mean? Like, quick platinum trophy achievement, Hunter 100%, but I'll definitely be playing every possible mission and, and stuff like that, for, yeah, for sure. Most of thank you again for another super seven. Seriously. Alright, let's do this, guys. We're good. Let's get these ramps made up. Uh, what do I need for ramps? Say nine should be enough. Three by three. Hey, Christopher, no problem, man. No problem, dude. I meant GTA 6 and main story. GTA 5 had three different main story endings. When game comes out, it would be really interesting to watch. Wait, GTA 5 had different story endings? How significantly different are we talking? I don't even remember what ending I got. I didn't know that you could have different endings. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. And we'll use the PT. Now, can you just always guide your butts all around like this? And will the stuff that I put on the back of it still stay on it? Even if I'm not the one flying it. That shit looks ridiculous, chat. Really? That is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, there it is. right there i am in the market for a high oh it's actually the highest level there i've ever seen but now we got to get another mega ethereum 
and uh, start breeding them. Tame Donalds from the Quetz platform. Yo, that's pretty smart, too. <laughs> yeah, just, like, yeah. yeah. Really no downside to it, because it'd be, it'd be easy to chase and everything. So how is that not the meta to tame Gigas, guys? Just hover right out of range on a Quetzal, just stand up there and... There's another Quetz. This is the big one, guys. One fifteen. It's thick. It's thick. Oh, fuck! Scared the shit out of me. That's a 115, guys. The Quetzals generally stick around pretty good, so. Damn, just shit all over yourself, don't you? That 115 should be nice. It'll be a huge upgrade from what I got. And they're, they're quite easy to tame once we uh, got the whole grapple business down. Bring no chap. Megatherium saddle. So now I'm gonna have to fucking wrestle with this damn thing to get it to get on top of the Quetzal. Four different story endings. Well, Jesus. Yeah, I, I had I played it one time with the story ending. Um, seriously. I didn't expect it to be able to connect to the, uh... I was, I was just gonna do... Oh wait, do, the, do these have to be on a... Sorry, GTA 5 had four different endings. 100% completion ending was epic AF. Wait, 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 wait. So, the ramps do have to have foundations?
Because you can't just place them on the ground. It says can't place... Oh, that's a stone roof, because I'm a fucking idiot. Stone ramp. Yeah, you still can't place it. Yeah, well, let me place it, guys. Stone ramp. It says no snap point. Oh, I mean, you could, yeah, YouTube actually does, you should, I think you have to contact, uh, if you're, if you're serious, um, you just contact YouTube customer service and they should be able to do it. At least I think so. I don't know how that works. Yeah, use a natural ramp. So we're gonna have to figure something out. I'm trying to get these Carnos attention now. Let's see if I can walk them off the cliff. You didn't nah it, it's all good, Tracy. It's uh I can fix it right now. We have a troll that likes to name themselves after people in chat and then thinks that I can't tell the difference. Um uh, but all I gotta do is click on the account. Boom. The account, boom. Did he run away? Before I could... Yeah, they deleted them. Bro, you can't run. You can't run. All right, Tracy, say something in chat. All right, yeah. Got him. Bro, you can't run. I got the admin panel, bro. Okay, so... Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice. That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping to go off the edge there. And then if we can make this semi level with the. walk off on top of this, right? No, no, don't do that. All right, we're good. Don't worry, Caspi. I'll, I'll do it. I, I, it's easy to tell because if, if you go on the account, um, if, if you're ever doing this in the future, Caspi, uh, like for instance, Tracy, if you click on Tracy's account as a playlist, um, and you just see the email, so it says like Tracy Watson, whatever, uh, 44, four, don't want to say everything, but. Um, and so you know that that's the one and then if you go and you click on it, it will always have a different um, at email uh, and that's how you can tell the difference between uh, who's trolling and not uh, It was easier though because Tracy had a playlist so it was it was really really easy to um, To find the troll So in the future, if you're looking for that uh, or trying to figure it out, you could just do that. Makes it real easy. Hey, hey, the one playlist, hey, it, it made it made it made uh, the life easy.
<laughs> nah, it's 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 it, people like the the guy thought that he could he could troll by like trying to pretend to be somebody else and then get me to like ban the real person by pretending oh like you know like trying to talk like like the person and, like and I'm like bro you're such a fucking idiot dude like you're actually that dumb to think that shit would work <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, you're embarrassing yourself. Oh, we're gonna have to get stand back. No! No, 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 no. That was close, man. Her Megatherium was about to be hanging out, dude. He, he was about to be hanging out. I was trying to, uh, I was trying to land the Quetzal for a second on the, on that peak there, but then I kind of landed on the side and then it just kind of pushed him up through the floor. <clears throat> yeah, imagine if I didn't notice it. What the hell is that Megatherium doing on top of that? Dude just had no clue. Uh, Mr. Dunhill, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you being here. Yeah, I'm going to probably change it to a hatch um, when I get back. The only reason why it was an issue, because I was able to go to the head of the Quetzal when it's landed, because when it's landed, its head kind of sticks up into the floor, but when you're in the air, its head is, like, down. No, no, its head's still good. Maybe it was just when I was in the mount. No, no, yeah, it is down. Um, so I can't interact with it like I was before. Mm. Now, did you guys say the drag weight, right? The drag weight on a... Rex is 500, so I would have to make uh, for uh, with 1400 weight. I'd be able to have two Rexes standing on the back of this thing. So I'm sitting here thinking, probably what 2500 to 3000 weight would be good for a Quetzal. I'd be able to pretty much transport almost anything. Clem, how you doing? Funny thing is, by the time you get everything ready for the boss, they'll be... Yeah, it's true. They'll be cryopods. I mean, this is still a cool experience, though, because it's something I've never done. It's, it's things I've never done in Ark. I've never got a Quetzal, you know, I've never... And, and it's just, it is, it is nice. Damn. Thank <laughs> you. 
plop this down. But I got my one Megatherium back now. Um, now my main focus is to get a second one, high level. That way I can... Uh, that way we can go ahead and start farming up the... What should we call it? The uh, babies for the boss fight. Now, Megatheriums, unfortunately... They don't lay eggs, do they? They they got gestation. Period, right? Mr. Alp, how you doing? Yeah, uh, our, 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 our troll is um, pretty weird. Has no life. Oh, there it is, guys. So the Rex is done. Yeah, I got it. I wanted to see what the difference is between this. So this one here, guys, is a 257. All right, and this is leveled up. All right, this one's a 210, brand new. I want to see how this how this thing operates. That's the egg dudes, right? So how do you tame these guys? The over are they passive teams? a knockout team.
So I was able to get 20k health on it, like it was nothing, with the imprint um, bonus. 520 guys this this wreck i mean obviously i think the wrecks could have better melee um but it, it's it's not bad for for right now you know what i mean almost 500 damage per hit Oh, wreck. Uh, nobody banned him? <clears throat> yeah. He tried to change his name again. Then it didn't work. No, I got him. I already banned. I just banned him. But all, I, like, all I gotta do is go back. And like I said, compare the that time he he named the email something obvious as fuck, so it was easy as hell. And he tried to be Chris Chris Fisher, Christopher Fisher. Hey, Chansky, thank you, thank you for the for the donations. I appreciate that for the trolls. I appreciate the love. Thank you so much. Yeah, this Rex is is good to go, guys. I'm thinking. Do you guys think we could we could boss with uh, with with these and some Megatheriums? This is with about 25 points put into it, but um, obviously I, I I still got a ton of points I'll be able to drop into these. But this is what we're looking at right now, stat wise. Yes, we had a. Uh, let me see. Now nah, there's two of them. So yeah, he just has he has multiple accounts. Nah, yeah, he's 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 trolling chat. Uh, if you if you check both accounts, Caspi, it's the same. Yeah, it's it's the same. <laughs> Such an idiot. 
But no, I was I was wondering if with the with the with the dino we have, you guys think that I could ease I could take on um I could take on Broodmother well, not Alpha though, right? Main thing is saddles. So yeah, that, that, I didn't think about that, guys. The saddles, they make a huge, huge difference. Ascendant saddles, so damn. So we got we would have to find Megatherium and Rex saddles. I've actually never found a Rex saddle before, like a good one. Alpha monkey is pretty easy. You could probably do that with primitive saddles. So what makes Alpha monkey so much easier than like the Alpha? Um, Then the alpha, what should we call it? Uh, broodmother. Oh, monkey has less, less health. Well, that's what I did, Flashy, when I fought when I fought the monkey the first time. I lured him out of the um, the arena, and we, we fought him down at the at the the start. Like I ran up there with my UD, I, 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 and I pulled him down, and then we fought him right down the platform. That that way, I didn't have to worry about my dinos getting like knocked off and shit. Um, the broodmother spit attacked. To, damn. I mean, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Like, we could just start off with maybe, like, the, the beta broodmother or something like that. And then... And then go from there. Broodmother hits... Oh, man. So that's, a, that's the one main thing I'm, I'm worried about. Yeah, it's the one main thing I'm worried about. All right, Christopher, if you're there, you should be good to come out of come out of hiding now. I got him. I got everything squared away. Yeah, um, I probably should get, learn how to do the whistle groups, guys. That's like some stuff I've never, ever tried before. Because I, I generally do, I just kind of take all 20 of my dinos, clump them up, and then I just send them in.
when you do that, only six to eight of them are actually landing hits. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to practice and mess around there. I mean, we, we're still a bit off from me, you know, even even attempting a boss fight right now. Um, the main thing is, is I can I can I run? We could just run all Megatheriums, right? If I get like a decent Megatherium saddle, we could probably just go Broodmother with a UD and 19 Megs, right? Trap on the back of your quest. Easy for taming more. Uh, I take two whistle groups, ten in one, nine in the other. Tell the group one to attack. Tell group two to follow me. Go around the back, um, and then tell them to attack. They'll swarm her in 360. Oh, okay. Ran 18 megs, um, a pig with a UD. It, it, so a lot of people tell me, guys, to, that the pigs are good. Um, you know, the, the Deodons. The issue I have with Deodons is I don't, the, the micromanaging of the food. Because cause I don't, I, I, like, I, you only get one buff out of it. Like, because if I go in there with it full of, like, I don't know, let's just say it's, it's full of meat or whatever. And then I, I, I pop. I, I get on it, I pop the, the buff, and it starts healing. Is it only like a one time? Because I did it one time, and it literally ate through like thousands of food in, in one pop. So I got. I I'm gonna look into that. So whistle groups and um, how to properly micromanage a deodon. But we're gonna end this episode here, guys. I'm gonna be. Uh, no deodon in boss fight and single player. It never uses its ability. If you want effective deodon healing in the boss, a second player has to ride it and use it manually. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, my plan was to just go in there, bunch of Megatheriums, and, and if, if if a Megatherium's better than a Rex, we just won't bring any Rexes. Um, and I'll just do all Megs, but it all just depends on if I can get a good saddle or not. Whatever saddle we get first, I guess would be, um, I guess would be. The most important thing is, is depending on what kind of saddle we can get. Hmm. So it's like if I if I get a really really good wreck saddle before I can get a really really good because we have to farm drops for a while. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out, um, but we're gonna have to spend time farming saddles, pretty much breeding and, and farming saddles.
Oh, uh, yeah, I don't have any beetles. No. Uh, purple drops often have Mastercraft. So that that's what I'm at. The, we're just going to have to fly around. I don't know when the hell I'm going to find time to do that on stream, but uh, we're going to have to just spend some time going around trying to get myself some saddles. Uh, but guys, going forward, if, if, if somebody comes into chat and they're, and they're tr pretending to be you, I would never ban somebody just because they said, hey, this guy is, like, pretending, and he's, like, trying to, like, point finger, like... Just I, on your own accord, the great thing about YouTube is you can just right click or click on somebody's name and you can block them. Um, and you'll never see their, their stuff they type in chat ever again. It literally just, uh, they just disappear to you forever. Um, and then on my end, if they ever say anything inappropriate, then it, obviously I know it's not you and I just ban them. So yeah, if you got somebody that's pretending to be you, just fucking right click um, and uh, block them. All right, guys, but we're gonna end this here. Uh, like I said, we got we got some uh, we got a lot done today. I, I got that the the Quetzal done. We were able to get the grinder squared away. Um, now it's just a matter of kind of trying to fine tune. I might, I might have to do like some kind of extension. We're running out of space in this damn place. Um, but we're gonna have to probably do some kind of extension, make the base a little bit bigger. No, well, Tracy, the, the thing was, is as soon as that was said, um, I was like 90% sure it was a troll. Um, I generally don't even acknowledge comments like that. I just would ignore it. Um, I kind of just, I, I actually said it in like a smart ass way. I was just kind of like addressing it, like to be like, ha ha, like, yeah, like you can reach out to customer service. But, um, no, generally I, I, I don't even pay attention to shit like that. But we got a lot done. Um, as you guys can see, I got a Bronto now, which I got to get. I got a saddle for. Um, we got our Meg here. The base is starting to come together. Everything's starting to come together. Um, now it's just a matter of uh, starting to work on that fine-tuning stuff. Saddles and breeding, guys, big time. All right, but if you guys haven't, on your way out, smash that like button. Remember, if you guys want some more art content, uh, consider subscribing. It, it really, really helps me out. Let's me know that you guys want to see more. And uh, yeah, I'll be doing one more stream here in a, uh, in a little bit. We'll be, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to play yet. I got to go look at the list. But uh, thank you guys again. I appreciate you all. I love you. You have a great night if I don't see you in the next stream. And for everybody else, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>